Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I guess we are going to wait for the others because uh, we are not complete. Um, because we need to make our presentations, introduction, and to talk about a little bit about this course. Um, but I think that we are just going to wait like one more minute because um, we just have uh, one a more, I mean, we have just one hour. And in this case, we're not going to like uh, spend a lot of time waiting for the others. In this case, Give me a second. Give me a moment. I just want to, yes. Give me a moment. Okay, so we are going to start right now because um, we have just three minutes in this a moment, so we are just going to have a couple of minutes to complete this section. So the first thing that we are going to do is to know who is the person that is talking in this moment, uh, because you know that it is very important that we can um, know uh, who is the person that is in front of you. In this case, we are just um, through the computer, but um, I think that is something that we need to know in this moment. So I just want to um, introduce myself and my name is Elena Chavarria. I am in charge of this uh, course, um, in charge of this module. And it's a pleasure for me to be here with you because I know that this is a, a process and we are going to learn new things. We are going to remember information that we already know. And also we are going to construct new information, new knowledge, new um, ideas. And we are going to practice um, our English skills, you know, that uh, we are practicing or improving the four macro skills that we need to develop in this kind of courses. So we are going to a develop listening, develop a speaking, develop a writing, develop a reading. So in this case, we are going to have um like a mixture of the different things that we need to, to develop during this kind of courses. So in this case, um, as I was saying, it's a pleasure uh, for me to be here with you. We are going to work during this month. Uh, we are just going to work on the topics that we have on the platform. We are going to develop this kind of topics that we are going to see. Uh, we have different topics. We are going to see topics that are uh, from a grammatical part. We are going to see something that is related to um, different conversation that we can have uh, in our daily life. 
we are going to make some practices. We are going to make some, um, like, I don't know, like we are going to practice. Okay, so in this case, um, I'm just going to like give this, um, how can we say it, um, feedback, uh, just to be clear. Vamos a tener como un pequeño uh, retroalimentación de esta primera parte. Eh, primero presentarme, ¿verdad? Lo que estaba diciendo anteriormente, mi nombre es Elena Chavarría, yo voy a estar a cargo de este eh, curso, de este módulo, así que vamos a estar trabajando en estas cuatro semanas eh, con los diferentes temas eh, que podemos encontrar en la plataforma, o sea, ya saben cómo es este proceso. Así que eh, es un placer, ¿verdad? Para mí estar con ustedes, Cualquier duda, cualquier eh, situación que tenga que ver con el trabajo de la plataforma, con algún tema, con alguna actividad, pues ustedes saben que en la hora que vamos a estar en, este, en estas sesiones, pues vamos a tomarnos el tiempo para poder solventar esas dudas. I am not uh, saying that you cannot write on the group or you cannot access to uh, my personal number because um, it is not the point. The thing is that uh, sometimes it's kind of complicated uh, during the day because uh, you are working, I am working, and in some cases I uh, don't have enough time to like um, see if someone has uh, sent uh, messages or something like that. So I have just a specific hour in which I am can answer uh, messages. So in that case, it's kind of complicated if we are going to do this kind of communication. So in that case, I am just like saying that it is better for us to like talk about these problems, talk about these situations in this hour that we have on the session. So that is better because we are going to do it at the same time, the activities, and we are going to like solve different, um, uh, I don't know, things that we have in that moment uh, related to the activities that we are uh, performing on the platform. So I, uh, I'm i going to show you a document in which we are going to work during this month. I really like to work on um, online documents uh, because I think that is um, more effective, is like easier and better. So in this case, I'm going to show you what is the document in which we are going to work during these four weeks. And I'm going to send to you the link of this document, maybe tomorrow, maybe on Wednesday. And you are going to find all the information that we are going to see during this month on in, in that document. And you are not going to download anything about the classes. You are just going to access to the link that I'm going to send to you to the group of WhatsApp. So when you have some uh, ideas, when you need to, to know something, when you need to, to read something, when you need to practice something, you are going to access to the link that I'm going to send to you. Es un enlace, un único enlace que vamos a tener para entrar a ese documento. Es un documento en Google Docs. Eh, ustedes saben que es asociado con Google. Eh, es en línea, pues. Eh, eh, ustedes van a accesar al enlace y ustedes van a poder leer toda la información ahí. Se les va a actualizar inmediatamente, ¿verdad? Vayan, eh, vayamos trabajando en el documento. Eh, aquí ustedes no van a descargar nada, sino que simplemente entran al enlace y ya tienen toda su información en el documento. So, in that case, uh, I think it's better for you and also it's better for me to work in uh, this kind of documents. 
So in this moment, I'm going to show you what is the document that I am talking about. And also, I like to share with you um, different phrases, we can say. I'm going to do it every Monday. Every Monday, I'm going to show you uh, a phrase that is going to give you like this kind of motivational or something that is uh, this kind of thing. You're going to like find a message, a very positive message in this kind of uh, phrases or images. And but uh, in this moment is it's raining here. Um, so if, if I have like different problems or troubles with the connection with the audio or something like that, you know that is uh, because it is raining right now. So let me show you this one. I'm going to share this one also. Okay, this is the document in which we are going to work. And we have the phrase for today. And it said, if you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. So in this case, if we can imagine something, we can go to that place and we can have that dream made of. And if we can dream about something, we can become in that version of the dream. So we can achieve every goal that we have. It is very important that we can uh, have this kind of phrases in mind because we have um, a powerful mind, a powerful soul, so we can uh, like do everything that we want to do in our life. So we are um, this kind of uh, people that we work for our dreams and that we work for the things that we need to have in our life. Thank you. Okay. Now, we're going to see what is the first topic that we are going to develop in this course. Um, but I need to clarify something. Okay, in this course, you are not going to have the attendance list. No vamos a tener la asistencia, no, no vamos a tomar asistencia en este eh, módulo, no es necesario, pero sí es importante que estemos en las sesiones, que seamos lo más constantes posibles. Eh, también que, por favor, eh, tratemos de mantener nuestras cámaras, ¿verdad? Encendidas la mayor parte del tiempo. Tal vez si hay algún problema con nuestra conexión, pues vamos a apagar nuestra cámara. Pero es importante que pues podamos ver quiénes son los participantes que están en las sesiones. Otra cosa que es muy importante también es la participación en las diferentes actividades y también, como ustedes ya saben, eh, realizando las actividades de la plataforma. Si hay algún problema con la plataforma, si hay algún problema eh, con sus actividades, ustedes eh, pues nos pueden hacer saber a través de lo que es el grupo. Eh, tell me, Pablo. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Sí, sé que ahorita todavía no, no he salido del trabajo, pero lo, ahorita solo la, la, la estaría escuchando. Okay. Por este día, ¿verdad? El otro día yo, sí ya pienso que vamos a estar más temprano y ya voy a poder estar con la cámara encendida. No sé si me, me da chance este día. Ok, no, no, no se preocupe. En ese caso nosotros entendemos. Ahí usted sabe que usted está presente. Don't worry about it. Okay. Gracias, gracias. You're welcome. Okay, so what is the first thing that we are going to do today? In this case, we have the topic number one. So I'm going to try to give you at least two different topics, but they are related to the same thing. And also we are going to work on the uh, knowledge check that we have on the platform. Vamos a tratar de realizar los knowledge check que tenemos en la plataforma también junto con los temas. But in this case, we have the lesson objective that is the uh, lesson number one or the topic number one. And in this case, it says, 
In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do or they real, um, make or do or something like that, an activity. So in this case, we are going to talk about how often you do something. And this is related to the daily activities that, that you perform every single day. But after that, after listening the information or listening the conversation that we have on the platform, that is the first conversation, we are going to talk about this kind of activities because this topic is also related to um, the adverse of frequency. And I know that that topic is not new for you. It is a topic that is like... Um, a very basic topic because we can see this kind of information when we are beginning with this process of learning English. But in this case, we are going to make a little review of the um, the topic that is the, um, the adverb of frequency. We are going to talk about the adverb of frequency. Then we are going to think about the activities that we perform in our daily life. And also we are going to say, ah, oh, I am or I always wake up at 7 a.m., or I always um, have breakfast in my workplace, or I always walk to my uh, job, different things that we can do every single day. And then we are going to have some information related to, to this topic, and we are going to see what is the second topic about. So we are going to begin with the first conversation. We are going to charge the page. And we are going to listen to this conversation. So in this case, we have this one that it's called I hardly ever exercise. This is the conversation that we are going to listen right now. So give me a moment because it's charging. I think I'm going to have like kind of uh, troubles because it is raining. So we're going to be very patient. So we are going to begin with this one. Hello, we're now in section six. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow! How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can respond how often you do a particular activity. Do you exercise a lot? Okay, this is the conversation that we have here that is related to how often someone exercises. And in this case, we're going to uh, like focus on exercising. And we have Mary and we have Paul. And they are talking about like the different physical activities that they perform. So in this case, we are going to like analyze um, the different phrases that they said in this conversation. So in the first part, she said, you are really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? That is a very important question. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost, here is the thing that we're going to focus. I almost always get up early and I lift weights uh, for an hour. I almost always. In this case, it is not saying that 100% of the time he is doing this activity. He almost always. Casi siempre, no siempre, casi siempre se levanta temprano to 
the uh, to do this kind of activity seriously sure and then i often that is another one i often go in light skating wow how often this kind of question how often do you exercise like that and he said about five times a week it's a lot of time but it is not the whole week so he has like this kind of activities five times a week. Uh, what about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. This one is a um, negative connotation a uh, phrase. And in this case, um, we can say negative connotation because in this case, you are not doing this activity um, like a lot. Because she said, I hardly ever. We can say that it's almost never. It's something very rare in here to do this kind of activities. So that is very negative thing. So in this case, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a real couch potato. Ok, en este caso, tenemos a dos personas totalmente diferentes. And uh, in this case, uh, Paul is someone that makes exercise a lot. Paul hace muchos ejercicios, ¿verdad? Tiene como rutinas um, bastante establecidas en las que él dice, ah, yo me levanto temprano casi todo el tiempo, levanto pesas, hago ejercicio cinco días a la semana. Y practica diferentes deportes. En el caso de Mary, es una persona que casi nunca hace ejercicio. Ella dice que pues, eh, usualmente se queda en casa viendo la TV. Y es una real coach potato, que es alguien perezoso, ¿verdad? Que no le gusta hacer mucha actividad física. So, in this case, we have like different activities that we perform during the day or during the week. Now, we are going to think about the activities that we perform during the week, not during the day, during the week. What are the activities that I do every day, or in this case, always, and different activities that you are like doing sometimes, or the activities you never do in your week. Vamos a pensar en actividades que nosotros hacemos día a día. Vamos a pensar en una actividad que nosotros hacemos siempre. Todos los días es lo mismo. Una actividad que a veces la hacemos, a veces no. Y una que nunca en la vida nosotros vamos a hacer o nunca hemos hecho. O quizás casi nunca la hacemos. In this case, we are thinking about uh, this kind of activities. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, and then you are going to give me your opinion about these activities. For example, I always um, take the bus to go to work. I always take the bus to go to work. I sometimes eat breakfast in my house. Sometimes I eat breakfast in my house. And I never use a bicycle to go to my work. I never use a bicycle to go to my work. So we're going to think about three different things. One is something that we do every single day. That is a always. The second one is something that we do eh, maybe yes, maybe not. That is a some time. And the third one is something that we don't do. That is a never or almost never or rarely or seldom or something like that. Vamos a pensar en tres cosas. Una, que podamos utilizar con always, una actividad que nosotros hagamos en la semana, que podamos utilizar la palabra always. Una, que eh, se puede utilizar con la palabra sometimes, algo que hacemos a veces, 
y una que puede hacer con eh, nunca, raramente, a uh, pocas veces, something like that, with that kind of words. So I'm going to give you, let me see, like five minutes, five minutes to complete that ideas about the different activities that you perform in your week. And then we are going to have like time to express or time to say those phrases. And we are going to continue with the other part. So we are going to have five minutes to complete this part of the activity. Tenemos cinco minutos, a story, a las ocho y media. We are going to give our ideas about the activities that we perform during the week. So we have five minutes to think about three different sentences. In one of these, you are going to use the word always, in the second one, sometimes, and in the third one, never, or something related to, to, to that word. So let's go.
Okay, for this one, because it is the first activity that we are going to perform in this um in this course, we're going to do it like and I'm not going to say it slowly, but we are going to begin with um the writing part. Vamos a empezar nada más escribiendo. Hoy vamos a, a nada más escribir nuestras um, ideas. Um, and then we are going to like go with different activities. We are going to perform different of the uh, skills that we have. In this case, I'm going to um, give you time to write the uh, phrases or the ideas or the things or the activities that you perform during the day on the chat. En el chat, ustedes van a escribir sus oraciones, sus frases, sus eh, ideas de las actividades que ustedes realizan utilizando las tres palabras que ya habíamos visto, el always, el sometimes y el never. And I'm going to read the phrases and we are going to see if we can write some of these eh, sentences on the document. So, Let's write some of the ideas that we have of the activity that we perform every day. So, ah, we have some of the statements here already. So we are going to begin seeing what is the information that we have here. And I'm going to share with you the document because we need to see the document also. Okay, like this. Okay, I always walk 30 minutes a day. Okay, we are going to do it here. And I'm going to do a little list, a small list in this case. So let me put the list here with this one, okay. I always walk 30 minutes a day. Okay, next one. I always take a bath every morning. Very good. Okay, I always take my breakfast before eight in the morning. Very good. Next one said, I never go to the gym. Uh, I never go to the gym. I always listen to music with myself in my cell phone in the morning. I always listen to music. We're going to do it like this in the morning. This is very interesting. Um, we are going to write like this. I always take my son to the kindergarten. I sometimes watch close um, during the week. Uh, no, um, we're going to specify a day in this case. I sometimes wash the clothes 
on Friday. We're going to do it like this. And this one is very interesting. I never go. Mm, let me see how can we uh, improve this one. I never. I think this one is like this because you are saying that um something that you never do is to go in a day without getting uh, angry. In this case, I'm going to transform that idea and say that I never stay happy a whole day because maybe we have different situations in which we can get angry. Nos enojamos, ¿verdad? Durante algunas actividades o eh, por situaciones, ¿verdad? Que se nos presentan en el día. I never eat liver, okay? Sometimes I get up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Um, I never um uh, breakfast at work. Okay. I sometimes. Watch TV. Before bed, I usually work every day. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we have two, four, six, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. I'm going to write five more statements. Um, I sometimes take a bus to go to my work. I always go running. Mm -hmm. I always... on weekends. I never drink soda in the morning. Okay, very good. In the morning. Uh, we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 15, 16. One more. Mm, I work in the afternoon once a week. Okay. I always drink coffee in the morning. I never travel to Europe, okay? Okay. We're going to have here the statements. Okay, thank you for your participation. We have different statements here that we can use to express different activities or different things that we do during our um, week.
Aquí hay diferentes actividades, diferentes cosas, diferentes situaciones eh, que pueden pasar, ¿verdad?, durante la semana. En este caso, pues, vamos a ver algunas de ellas. Eh, in some cases, it is related to eh, waking up y to drink some kind of a beverage, eh, to eat breakfast or not, to do exercise, to eh, spend time with our family or something like that. But we can see different activities here that we perform. And also we are using the adverse of frequency. That is the second part of the topics that we are going to develop today. So, and in this case, we already know how to use the, um, the adverse of frequency. It is not a very difficult topic. It is not a, a topic that we already I mean, that we didn't know anything because maybe you know something about the advert of frequency. And in this case, I just have this image that is related to the activity. How often do you? But now, you already explained how often do you perform an activity. Now, the second topic or the topic number two. But give me a moment because I have here something. Here. Okay, in the topic number two, that is related to the ones that we have on the uh, first part is the adverse of frequency. In this case, we are just going to have a review. Esto es solo para que nos recordemos un poco del tema, de qué es lo que vimos o de qué es lo que sabemos acerca de los adverbs of frequency. In which cases we are going to use the adverb of frequency. Um, uh, some words that we can use that are part of the adverb of frequency. But also we are going to focus on um, questions. So we are going to talk about questions. And in this case, um, we are going to see different examples in this case um, that are related to, to the uh, adverb frequency, but on questions. Vamos a enfocarnos más que todo no en los adverb of frequency, sino en algunas preguntas que nosotros podemos hacer utilizando estos adverb of frequency. And after uh, we see this kind of um, information, this kind of uh, review, we are going to watch our, uh, the other video that we have on the platform that is going to help you with uh, this information to the clarification of the information. So, and in this case, we have the lesson objective. And this one said, by the end of this session, you will learn how to ask Okay, in this case, we are going to learn how to ask and answer questions with adverse of frequency. Básicamente, eh, la parte central de este tema es el uso o cómo hacer preguntas y cómo contestar a esas preguntas utilizando los adverse of frequency. Pero para llegar a eso, tenemos que hacer el pequeño review de algunos adverbs of frequency que nosotros ya conocemos. Y hay otros que tal vez no hemos metido en esa categoría, pero que ahora lo vamos a hacer. So, in this case, we are going to see a list of words that function as adverbs of frequency. Vamos a ver una lista de palabras que funcionan como adverbs of frequency. In this list, you are going to see very common phrases or very common words, and you are going to find another one. But in this case, we are going to uh, see almost the same things. 
So we are going to see a short list. Esta es una lista corta, no es una lista enorme de adverb of frequency. So let's begin with the list. So let me go to this place. I want this one. So in the first one, we have always. Next one, annually. Then we have constantly. Daily. Eventually. ever, frequently, generally, only, infrequently, Monthly, never, next, nightly, normally, now, occasionally, Often, rarely, and don't worry about the list. You know that you are going to have this information. I'm going to send this document to you maybe today. So you are going to see the list. So don't worry right now about the list. I'm going to send to you this information. Okay, we are like very, um, we can say like, um, estamos quizás bastante acostumbrados a ver esa pequeña lista, verdad, the adverb of frequency in which we can find words like always, sometimes, um, almost always, um, seldom, rarely, yeah. usually, or something like that. Um, but in this case, you know that we have more words that we can use to talk about the frequency. Because the part, the important part of this thing is that they are talking about um, how often do you do something. Aquí estamos hablando de qué tan seguido nosotros realizamos una acción. Um, qué tan seguido nosotros... Eh, Eh, realizamos una actividad, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tan seguido nosotros vamos a un lugar? En ese caso, tenemos diferentes palabras aquí, no las de siempre, ¿verdad? And in this case, we have a positive a words and negative words. And in this case, it is not related to the negative structure or the positive structure that we can use when we are creating a, a statement. Cuando creamos oraciones negativas y positivas, pues utilizamos por ahí un auxiliar negativo que nos va a decir a nosotros que nuestra oración está en negativa, como lo es el, el not, el can't, el uh, do not, el didn't, todo eso. But in this case, we're talking about positive and negative because uh, the positive words is when you are doing something like almost every day. Si nosotros hacemos algo bastante seguido, eh, digamos casi todos los días, 
con bastante frecuencia, esas son palabras que llevan connotaciones positivas. Si nosotros una actividad no la hacemos tan seguido, son connotaciones negativas. Y aquí no tiene nada que ver con la acción. A veces las acciones que utilizamos o las acciones que hacemos no son cosas tan buenas. Eh, por ejemplo, I always, I'm going to do uh, uh, here an example. I always uh, smoke a cigarette. Ok, siempre fumo un cigarro. En este caso, la acción que yo estoy haciendo, smoke a cigarette, no es algo bueno, es algo que es dañino, ¿verdad? Puede dañarme y puede afectar mi salud. But in this case, I am using the word always, que es esta que tenemos por acá. Let me see if I can... No. Uh, here. I'm going to mark this one. Uh, let me see what it is. No, it's not here. Oh, it's here. Okay, I'm going to do it in yellow. Like this. Always is my adverb of frequency. And in this case, I am saying that I am doing or performing this activity almost, I mean, not almost, every time, every day, in every moment. Entonces, yo estoy haciendo esta actividad siempre, todos los días, a cualquier momento, ya es un hábito, ya es algo que yo hago todos los días y ya no podría estar sin eso. Entonces, en ese caso, yo estoy utilizando una connotación positiva porque estoy haciendo algo todos los días. Ahora, mi acción no, no es tan buena, but that is not the point. The point is just the use of the adverb of frequency. In this case, I can change this uh, activity. I always um, read the newspaper. Siempre leo el periódico. That is something uh, good because we are like uh, developing our reading skill. We are practicing. We are searching information. We are doing different things. So in that case, the adverb frequency that we are using is telling us if the action is something, I mean, if you are doing something positive or negative, depending on the frequency of the things that you are doing. Así que si tenemos, digamos, um, acciones o en este caso adverbios que nos denoten a nosotros, ¿Qué tan frecuente hacemos eh, nosotros una acción? Si, por ejemplo, yo hago algo siempre, casi siempre, a veces, usualmente, eh, más o menos por ese, por ese tipo de cosas, son con connotaciones positivas. Si yo lo hago eh, a veces, casi nunca, rara vez, ocasionalmente, Nunca, todas esas son connotaciones negativas, aunque la acción sea algo bueno. En este caso no se trata de eso, sino de cómo nosotros eh, realizamos esas actividades y qué tan seguido, porque that is the point of the advert of frequency. Now, we're going to see some examples of questions. Remember that the important part here is questions. So here I'm going to show you different examples of questions that we can make to others using the adverbs of frequency. So in this case, remember that the adverbs are an important part of a language because they express how an action is done. Es importante, ¿verdad? Los adverbios son muy importantes porque son parte del lenguaje y porque nos expresan eh, cómo está hecha una acción, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tan seguido hacemos nosotros una acción? When we want to describe how often the action is done, we use or we need to use the adverse of frequency. Now, we are going to see some examples of these questions. The first word that we are going to use here is usually. Vamos a utilizar la palabra usually. Ok, 
Okay, here we have the word that we are going to use. Now I'm going to have, let me see. In this case, this one and this one. Very good. So we're going to see the following uh, questions. What do you usually do in the afternoons? What do you usually do in the afternoons? Usualmente, ¿qué haces por las tardes? ¿Qué haces usualmente por las tardes? ¿Qué es algo que hacemos usualmente por las tardes? That is the question. Next one. What do you usually do in the morning? Oh, I usually... Uh, take a bath in the morning because I prefer to do it in the night. That is an example. I usually eat breakfast with my family in the morning. Um, I usually uh, read the newspaper. I usually do exercise. We can have different uh, things to answer these kind of questions. Next one. What do you usually do at night? ¿Qué hacen usualmente por las noches? Oh, I usually uh, watch a movie. I usually um, help my children with the homeworks. I usually cook dinner. I usually read a book. I usually drink a cup of tea and relax different things that we can answer. Next one. What do you usually do during the weekends? What do what mu what music? I'm sorry. What music do you usually listen to? What music do you usually listen to? And the last one of the word the the question with usually. What is something do you usually do in your free time? What is something that you usually in your free time? Aquí básicamente nos está preguntando, ¿verdad? Por cosas que normalmente, usualmente, eh, nosotros hacemos durante los diferentes eh, momentos del día. In the afternoon, in the morning, at night, eh, also during weekends. Um, what kind of music or eh, things that we do in our free time. In this case, it's just to eh, understand that we have different ideas. So, in this case, you have this question here. Read the questions, think about the different things that you do in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night, uh, during the weekends. What is the music that you usually listen to? Uh, what is something that you usually do in your free time? And we are going to answer those questions tomorrow. I'm going to ask you the question and you are going to tell me something. I'm not going to um ask uh, the six questions to one person. We are going to do it with different persons. So in this case, you are going to help me with the answer of these questions. So 
I'm going to send to you this uh, link of this document to uh, you have access to the information and also to the questions. And tomorrow we are going to practice answering these questions. Now it's time to end this first session. So we are going to see each other tomorrow on the session number two. So have a really good night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you. See you tomorrow. See you. Tomorrow. See you. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thanks to you. See you.